lied to me! Ooh. Go sound that waypoint word every Tuesday. Yeah. Buy the block from Xeno. Shout out to waypoint. They have the Persona 4 music here to start off game one. No button check going right into it. And I mean, this is probably what a lot of the set's gonna look like. I'm just worried. Here. I mean, yeah, the, we're, we're seeing Small Battlefield. We're seeing Rob. We're seeing Dewey Fit. And I think Epic Gabriel, excellent start to his momentum. I love the try attempt at an edge guard, but that we fit up B is definitely going to be taking uh, John Ooh. back. And that's a lot of percentage with the gyro added. All the gyro walls back, baby. Yeah, that is so much damage. And look, gyro, I actually, I was about to say, we saw John Numbers obviously get upset yesterday at waypoint. And one of the ways that, I mean, Kirby509 was able to shut down John was by interrupting him off stage during his deep breathing timing and Epic Gabriel, you know, following in the footsteps, doesn't have the fear of John Numbers off stage that, you know, a lot of the New Yorkers do, right? I mean, because we know, but when, when you're confident in that play, like Epic Gabriel is, you can take this and go a mile with it. And I'm loving the momentum that Epic Gabriel is also taking. He's taking John all the way off the That's stage with the bear already. into the side beat. John Numbers is getting cooked. Yeah, I mean, Epic Gabriel just showing some so much like unbridled confidence here, right? Love like it. he he's not letting John get set up, and this gyro placement has been absolutely fantastic. That was really excellent use of the nair. Not gonna yet. take it quite yet, but taking taking John really really far out, waiting for a oh excellent foot to come back on stage. No tech, and that's also death for Epic Gabriel, but not too bad because you are still at a whole stock lead. Yeah, I will say though, I mean. People in New York know you never count numbers out in these sort of situations. He's known for winning things like this. Absolutely. Where he'll just yep. he'll slowly download you, slowly pick out those bits of information, where you'd like to throw your projectiles, where you'd like to position here. And I mean, he's already looking way oh more solid. God, okay, no. Yeah, Actually, you know, from numbers. You know, if Zomba did that back here, would have killed. Yeah, the Zomba. Yeah, yeah Epic course, Gabriel doesn't have those. No, nah, unfortunately. Not yet. You gotta get there eventually to get the Zomba like, cheat code. But exactly. I'm seeing the cheek the down, the down throw into the back air, trying to connect with the forward air, but if it was pulling the down air plug a little bit too early and just kind of lacking at the wheel uh, in the game, in, in yeah. Eden and Sun Citation. I mean, John hasn't taken any meaningful damage in like over a minute. And like, this is what sort of like I mean, like even if Numbers loses this game, right? Look at the way he's just already figured out what Epic Gabe is doing. Love that the reverse laser, and now we're seeing again, fair on shield, down to down to extra gyro into the down smash. You love to see instant run back. I know what that means. Whenever John shoots up with a chair like that, he's like, run back. Run that back. Run, back. run, run back that now. back. Now. I can beat you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean. That really? was a huge. Fr yeah, that was good. Yeah, I mean. Epic Gabriel getting so much uh, so much mileage off of this. She's, you know, really potent Rob kill setups, obviously with the gyro and then with the rotor arms off stage. I would say I would not be surprised if John Numbers looked almost like a different player this game, right? Like, yeah. towards the end of that game, like, Epic Gabe had to find the tech setup with the gyro mm -hmm. to get a kill. We're going to Numbers' favorite stage of Small Battlefield here, and I mean, we'll see what he can do, right? I think what I was going to do is play a little more patiently. Uh, no, no, not patiently, a little more aggressively, only because every time that Numbers was being patient and letting himself get some space and get some deep breathing in, Gabriel was like, oh, I'm going to interrupt you for that, and then I'm yeah. going to kill you for it. And I mean, so I think Numbers, as you can see, staying on the stage, being a little more aggressive, and not going towards ledge a li like as often. Yeah, and I mean, a lot of people, like, Numbers obviously has a reputation of being a camper, but, like, in the past few months, you know, he's been, he's been going out there, and he's been boxing with the best of them, which is, like, definitely really impressive. And WeFit has so many underrated normals, right? Like, obviously, um, oh, this side be off stage Ooh, could be death, be though. Yeah, that might be death Epic for numbers. Gabe, I mean, cutting me off by taking a stock here, but for good reason. Really clean play, and I mean, even though numbers has been a bit more aggressive, that means Rob gets a bit more opportunities to find these starters with the Nair, right? And those mid percents is where he's so scary. Absolutely, and right now we're seeing Ooh. numbers get a really nice little uh, back air right there, and then Strash and gain the back hit of the Epto as well, sending Gabriel all the way into the, into the upper stratosphere, honestly. And now Jaro is in hand, excellent for Gabriel to just waiting it out a little bit, trying to get center to control, and honestly, Gabriel definitely taking it a little more patient uh, route. Yeah, I, I like the fact that Epic Gabriel has actually been the one to slow this down because, you know, he has the lead and as Rob, you can just sort of chill, throw your gyro, throw your laser, wait for the openings to present themselves to you. You have such a good with you have such a good landing tool in the nair, and he's been using it really well. This back air here, it. gonna Love pick it. up John, trying to be aggressive off the ledge, and maybe this aggression from John is actually backfiring on him a little bit. I'm just gonna mention, I think that numbers was kind of on autopilot right there because Epic Gabriel had only done. Nair, Dare, and and back air on that ledge multiple times, and numbers just kind of ran Jumped right into, into that yeah, back the tournament air. winner. 
and, and, and that's and that's really unfortunate for numbers because now he's a whole stock uh, yeah. behind. Deep breathing is active though, so we should be seeing some high percentages in a very quick amount of time, yeah. just like that. Is it cute to see Epic Gabriel like doing like little mini stalls whenever he can to time out the deep breathing, and it's already gone here. Numbers is definitely. I mean, he has to find multiple openings. It's. One of John's trademark ways to take back games is, you know, with these really potent offstage reversals, but it's really hard to be better than Rob offstage, right? Absolutely. And right now we're seeing it. Oh, oh that's it. And I, was about to say, I was about to say, we're seeing Ga Epic Gabriel get into position for some nasty edge guarding. And let's see if numbers can actually, like, avoid it, like, the first time. And he did not. Yeah, I Ryan mean. Ryan's out there. And I don't think he had a choice, unfortunately. Yeah, I mean, Epic Gabriel, I mean, just doing the broken stuff, but doing it really well. Let's see, I mean. Just showing, literally showing why Rob beats Rob is, me fit. Yeah, showing why Rob beats me fit. Showing why like Rob is such like a threatening character, and I mean, showing no fear of John Numbers at all, which is, I mean, one it's a, of it's a high relief. It's a high relief. I it's mean, so new. I mean, we we do love John out here, but everyone is kind of so. Everyone has like that fear in them, where like you play yeah. John and you're like, ah. Oh, like, ah, oh, I got John numbers. I got class. John numbered on. He Johned your numbers. I got John numbered. I got numbered John.